Hey folks, Quilly King here and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld. It is our Arco Nexus victory attempt run. Um, but it's not going to be very easy on us if Randy keeps sending us multiple attacks plus rabid animals back to back to back in the same episode. It's a miracle no one has died yet. Uh, we have had a few body parts uh, lost here. Okay, you're no longer bleeding death. Um, so what I'm going to do with Javier here is yeah, unrecruit you and just do a rescue over here. The emergency situation has been dealt with. Let's get them into bed. Yeah, animals are starting to wander away. That's fine. We're just going to deal with that here. Hope you're tending to smogger. Yeah, we have to. We still don't have a dedicated doctor, but we've got a few people assigned to it. I guess eat that meal so you're not miserable. Uh, and I guess, yeah, feed the patients here. You're going to go and feed some more. What I'm actually going to get you to do, if you don't mind. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, there's a fence there. Okay. Hope, I'm going to get you to come over here and prioritize working on this fence. Is someone treating... I mean, this person's still bleeding. Maddie, okay, good. Just complete this, because then our pen is going to be enclosed again. And it'll make our animal life a lot easier. Okay, so presumably all the doctoring has been done. Okay, no one's bleeding anymore. That's good. We haven't gotten a pop-up about infection yet, although I really wouldn't be surprised. All right, we had to do a field tend with no medicine. How the heck did a lynx die? Okay. Uh, hen's starting to run away. Oh, yeah, because you're not actually in the pen. Um, I guess I might as well... Here, I'll re-enable the animal handling for here. It's only going to matter if we're trying to do tame actions. So this means that... Mathis, yeah, who's coming out here, is actually going to go and collect the animals for us. It's good. Okay. Bonds needs medical treatment. Do you? Oh, you have one bruise left. Oh, there we go. First infection on Smogger. Okay, in the leg. We could always amputate if need be. Although I suspect you'll be fine. We could preemptively amputate. I'm not going to amputate and set up prosthetics if... I don't have to right now because we don't have a proper doctor, because we don't have a hospital, and because we do still have plenty of the Glitter World medicine. I mean, I'd rather not be using it, but we're going to keep our people alive, and I think that's probably the best way to get them to stay alive. After everyone's been treated for their immediate problems, there we go, Smogger's already in the green, we'll, um, we'll do a pan, a pan over everyone and see if anyone needs any body parts. Bonds has got an infection. Okay, well, get in bed. You're consuming some ambrosia. Oh, right from the field. If I reset you, you're going to consume berries. Oh, you are very hungry. Okay, do that. Don't get food poisoning. No, go to freaking bed, buddy. You really want to go and get yourself some medicine. All right. That's... Oh, if it was... I think if it's a medical flag bed... I guess one of these... Oh, no, we have a recruit. I was going to say we could assign our unassigned bed to that, but no. We really do have to get the hospital going. Um, I Well, I don't have enough silver to build the hospital. That's thing number one. But I guess we could start... not terribly big, but it's probably okay. Um, our beds, how will they be laid out? Yeah, that'll be fine. I think we can put the big fancy TV here and have it cover all the beds later. So that's, again, it's a later problem. I guess what I'll do is I'll just go and forbid all these. We're going to put a vitals monitor in the middle once we get that. We're definitely going to need a light. So I'll put it there. And then we'll put um, storage for medicine in here. And then we'll attempt to build a sterile floor. Okay, Fawns, where are you, buddy? Are you... Okay, good. Now you're resting. How's that infection coming along? Well, it's not the worst situation, actually. You're... 
Your natural immunity is apparently not that bad. Okay, Maddie's not going for the treatment, so I was going to say someone else must be. That is indeed the case. Using more Glitter World Medicine. Okay, that's a good quality tend. I mean, I could go and, and block it. But, again, we really don't want our people dying. So, Fawns, theoretically, this is going to be enough for your immunity rate to skyrocket. And I think it will. I think you're going to be okay. And then Pharmacist will no longer use it. I think it's because there was a 10% difference in, <coughs> yeah, these margins over here. Break risk. Well, listen. Intense pain, unsightly, sick, genetic pessimism, I know. Slept in the cold. Right, hold on. What is your minimum comfortable temperature? Is 21 not enough? Oh, wait. Uh... Okay, hold on. I think this is the comfortable temperature to not get hypothermia, but I think the 16C, that's what everyone wants for sleeping, and it's not affected by their clothes, and he's got the plus 5, so he must want 21 as an absolute minimum. So let's increase the temperature here to a 23 to give it a little bit more of a buffer. Are you really standing up again? You're getting more ambrosia? Did you just not have some? Well, maybe you got can maybe it canceled itself. Okay, you know what? Let's have someone high priority haul this ambrosia. Hold on, just stay here for a sec. I just don't want you wandering outside too far. Okay, I'm going to cancel. Now there's some ambrosia nearby. Okay, survival meal is done. No research. I still can't get the super advanced stuff, but that's okay. We've got the Devil Strand research. That's fine. Maybe we'll grab the beer stuff in case we want some more fun stuff going on for people. Um, psychic refining, smoke packs, mortars. We do have a couple of, um, barrels, so let's throw those in. None of these I'm too concerned about the timing for them. And the genetics. So I might cancel, uh, how do I cancel the geothermal here? There we go. And then throw it in. We're probably going to want these to go faster by using the more advanced research lab. Could you... Social fights. This is not the time. Oh my god. Javi's down. This is not the time for this kind of bull crap. Prioritize tending, please. How badly hurt are you? I mean, you just had some existing injuries, I think, that were aggravated here. <laughs> We haven't been raided again. It's been eight minutes since the start of this episode. So at least we have that going on. Everyone's green here. Everyone's cranky AF. And I don't blame them. I'm pretty cranky too. To be perfectly honest. Hans' knee is ready for more treatment. You actually are okay though. Your infection, yeah, your immunity is ahead. So it'll probably just use some herbal meds. No, you're going to use full medicine. You're using Glitter World Medicine. Okay, hold on. We're going to do a little bit of micro here. There you go. Herbal Medicine. I'm just going to restrict you to this. Pharmacist be damned. Um, Fawns. Why did you get up? Why didn't you finish your freaking treatment? Okay, you know what? Screw this. I'm flagging this as a medical bed. Get your ass in bed. Maddie, can you stay here for a second? We gotta treat a difficult patient. Yeah, you're already tending. Good. With the herbal medicine. Why are you being such a pain in the butt? Alright, now I'm gonna go back to allowing you the best quality medicine. But we may have to keep an eye on you. I know it's not a very high quality 10, but it doesn't matter. You're, you're well ahead, you're okay. Oh, maybe I should just temporarily restrict everyone to herbal medicines. Are they being too loosey-goosey with, uh, with the, the good stuff? And if you didn't, if you're not running pharmacists, you'd be, you're gonna do this constantly. This is the, the right way to constantly manage things. Oh, everyone else except Odette can also be on the a Psychite Tea of the Day keeps the mental break away. It's probably good that we've got a medical bed now so that at least you will stay in it. Oh, now you're going in a Ambrosia Binge. Oh my god. 
spawns. Why are you so difficult? It's because you kept failing to go and get yourself Ambrosia. You'd get up, start walking towards the Ambrosia, and I think you'd change your mind. Which is more than a little annoying, but all right, be on a binge. I guess you're not going to get any more treatment now. Hopefully your infection does, your immunity does win out. It's a good thing you've got a big lead because you're not getting proper bed rest. What a pain in the butt you are. Okay, that's the automatic cut over here for the newly enlarged pen. Seems fine. Thumping stockpile is good. Some plants out there. How's our traps? Mm, they're not set. We don't have anything to convert. I, we don't have to preach health. Because, um, bonds is okay. Although I say that. Medical emergency. I think this is because the infection's reaching maybe, I guess, past 75%. I was going to guess 80%. But you're about to become immune, so you're fine. That's going to go away now? 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 Okay, not yet. Inspired creativity. I don't think we're going to do anything with that. That's the art one, right? Or furniture. Oh. Oh, interesting. Where does it show up? Does it show up still somewhere on their character sheet? Because it says inspired creativity, but I don't know where you get the description from it. Item art. Oh, no, it's any item. Uh, Javi's not a crafter. I mean, they're artists. That's about it. We could put down an art bench and have you work on it real quick. It might be worthwhile, actually. Also, don't they get a mood debuff if they're not able to use it? And a mood buff if they do? Where's art bench? Yes, wooden art bench. I'll just put it here for a sec. Hope you're teaching a lesson. Oh, that's actually quite good. We do want this to happen. Party. Well, okay. We could use a mood boost. Guess we could do some reinsurers and things like that, but... I mean, what a messy environment. Um, you know, I think it might be worth going and throwing a... Uh, a higher priority clean on everyone. Things have gotten messy for a while, but that's why I keep thinking, oh, it'd be nice to get the uh, Mechanator stuff going. Okay, party's finished. You're also starving. You're also very tired. I guess I'm going to have to let you sleep before I build the art bench. There you go. Some cleaning is going on. We're clearly overdue on that. The thing is, we don't really have anyone useless who is like can just be put on clean duty. But I guess I can leave it up for a little bit. Maybe we'll leave it on a three for people. We're not really going to get much research going on right now, but at the same time, um, that might not be the end of the world on the basis that we're not we're not rushing towards any research we need immediately. We've got actually other things with our current research level that we're kind of busy working on. Okay, even put back there, cutting dandelions. First of all, you're going to go work. Hang on, where are the dandelions that are going to cut? Inside the pen? Right, of course. Um, just prioritize working on this art bench. And you really don't have to cut down dandy lines. Yeah. Just trees. Oh. Still would like this floor to be removed at some point. Okay. Oh, there. That's done. So I'm going to put in a single large sculpture job. Out of stone blocks. Actually, make it specifically out of marble. You need a hundred of those. Oh, that's fine. Okay. So Javi, I'm going to give you permission to work on art. You're butchering here first. That's fine. Now, oh, you're gonna go rest. Let's say you should go work on art, I think. All right, Fawn's no longer binging. That's good. Your infection is fine. That's good. We're starting to recoup. Friends are the threat. Yeah, we, we can't we can't do that right now. Masterwork pants, cool. Yeah, I think when Javi is gonna get up, he does have a one priority for cook, which is basically butchering. I don't suspect he's actually got anything to do there. Have a meal. Are you gonna work on art? You're going to play chess. 
Oh, you slept during the anything period. Then you went recreation. Now you're in a sleep schedule, so you're probably going to go back to bed. I guess you got woken up by the recreation schedule change. Okay. A little backwards, but fine. I mean, you may have been re bed resting because you were injured. That's actually fairly likely. Okay, I'm going to force you awake. Oh, Why don't you go back to bed. Oh, because you are you are bed resting. I mean, maybe I could turn that down right now because people are mostly okay. Nah, everyone's getting like mood debuffs from pain. So if we let them heal from it, it's potentially going to be worthwhile. All right, Hope, what are you up to with construction? Oh, okay, breastfeeding. Allison, conversion control. We don't have anyone to convert. Everything is fine right now. Right, and you're still doing a lot of plant work, which is still important. Do I want to bring it down? We have th we have three other growers now. Yeah, okay. Well, actually, I'll leave these as a two, but I'm going to move the construction up to a two for a hope. We need more construction. We're good on plant stuff. Even though the, the planting stuff is a big job, but we've got enough people now that I think we should be okay. We do really want the construction to go. Yeah, have your meal. Recreation, then you're going to go sleep schedule. Avi, tell you what, I'm going to get you to force you to start working on art. Nothing else that'll um, reserve those marble blocks, stop them from being used for flooring jobs or something like that. And the sooner it consumes them, the sooner people will go back to you know cutting some blocks over here. All right, you're going to start on that. You don't actually have to work on it until you've gone crazy or anything. I might babysit you and then just reset you. Oh, we should rearm people. Uh, I wonder if there's a chance all of our guns are still out in the field somewhere. Yep, rotting away, losing hit points. I don't know where they all are. Unless I just tell everyone to do a bunch of priority hauling for a second. Okay, maybe I'll do that. Everyone haul it like a one. And actually, even Javi, I'm going to reset you. Now, some of it's going to be picking up a bunch of logs and stuff. But yeah, I don't know where all the guns have gone. Let's get them collected up. We are going to need some shells in here soon. And with that in mind, I might make a weapon shelf as our very first priority, just so that it can find the stupid things. All right, this here, storage, clear all. I'm going to go critical, and it's going to be for uh, ranged weapons of any type right now. We can be stricter later. Yeah, we'll do that. Hope, I'm going to get you to prioritize working on this. Overriding the hauling command. There we go. Now people should haul weapons to there. Um, maybe I'll not include grenades, actually. Okay. Lots of hauling. Just because I'm worried about finding all of our guns. Although now... Hogger... Shooting passion. Tell you what, let's give you the machine pistol. Javi doesn't have the shooting. Uh, I'm going to give you the chain shotgun. Did I, I, yeah, I did go machine pistol. Good. Gomp. Oh, you're actually a pretty good shot. Although, maybe the revolver is a good pick for that. I don't know. I'm hoping the revolver is big damage at low fire rate. Okay, everyone's been rearmed, such as it is. Yeah, that's still turned off. Power is good right now. A lot of people still doing bed rest. Allison being cranky. Um, child care is set to a one, so it is going to override the hauling. I think it's pretty important. Are you hauling steel in there? Wait. Oh! Our dumping stockpile is gone. Or no, is it here? Oh, it's just massively shrunk. Hang on. I'm like, why am I seeing steel inside of there? There we go. That's better. Actually, in oh, Smogger probably doesn't do dumb labor anymore because of your role. So you are doing construction, which is A-OK. -okay. And really, I want the mass hauling to stop when I feel like I've collected all the weapons, but I don't actually know right now. And we did just create a bunch of workforce, bringing things in, bringing things out. That's actually kind of unfortunate. Okay, you're going back to baby stuff. Hauling rice. I mean, getting all these crops in are also going to be good. But now and then we need those doors going on. Okay, I 
fact... I think we might be okay on the hauling. Hauling steel. Oh, these things have been deconstructed at this point. Okay. Yeah, actually getting those components in is good. Again, hauling bot would be great. Okay. Let's put those back down to a four each. And we can get back to more mission critical stuff. Is that just drawing outside? Sure, fine. Everyone asleep, except Javier, who's, who could be sleeping, like, sleep. There we go. I reset you. He was just resting in bed, but now he's going to actual sleep in bed, which seems better. Hopefully these injuries get fixed up fairly quick. Okay, a bit of maintenance. That's fine. We could use some maintenance. And then more blocks. This construction jobs should go back to making floors, not to mention these walls, actually. Okay, that's quite a lot of maintenance. Beer brewing research done. Cool. Um, hey, what? I'm going to bring all the research down to a four. Since I'm not caring about the research right now. Oh, interesting that you're doing that. I was going to say hauling and cleaning can still happen. Oh, but you don't dumb labor. And I don't have anything for you to craft, I guess. Probably because you're out of some raw materials more than anything else. So you are just defaulting research. I don't mind that. Maybe I should put a chair in their room. So that she can breastfeed there. We could do a comfortable couch, but I don't know how much cloth we have. We actually do have some. Get an armchair. We can use it for different things. Our researchers would appreciate good comfy armchairs, for example. Just for maximum comfort. I mean, we can use them everywhere. But conceptually, I do tend to like the dining chairs most of the time. It doesn't make sense to have a, a sofa, a couch in all these places. All right, spear, cutting blocks. Good, good, good. Moods have improved a lot. Mathis might be the lowest. It's hard to tell because his body's blocking most of it. Oh, no, his mood's fantastic. Minor pain. So happy youngsters, spacious interiors, impressive rec room and dining room. We at the party as well. Yeah, now this is clean, we're actually getting some good buffs, so... I guess keeping things neat is good. Hope you can finish the statue in five more days. Probably you can. But yeah, we have these goats, which I'm sure we're going to slaughter, but we don't have to do that now. Nutrition levels are more than fine. Hell, they can multiply a few times. Or maybe we can sell them. We're going to want some silver to make our sterile um, tiles and whatnot, so... Having a few random things to sell really wouldn't be the worst thing ever. Bedrooms are going to start looking nice. A single mad hair. Yeah, run inside there, Maddie. Come around over here, walk through the traps or something. I mean, eventually you'll fall asleep. Or I could send the entire group out. Are oh, you coming around? Oh! There's an open door there that hasn't been rebuilt. There we go. Thanks, crew. Hope. Oh, putting Allison somewhere safe. Were you still carrying Allison while going in battle? That's not the ideal. Smogger, can I get you to come over here and prioritize working on this door, please? Thank you. In fact, I'm wondering about... Nah, I don't have to put a halt on the tiles. The tile jobs might be self-limiting by whether or not we've got the marble blocks around anyway, and they're nearly done. I'm going to say it might be nice to prioritize this. Certainly the door. Let's get at least one of those doors up. Spear with a shooting frenzy. I'm not sure that changes any of my plans. Maybe a different weapon would be better for it, but... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to worry about micromanaging that. Oh, ooh, getting some lovin'. Feeding and Javi working on the art again. Yeah, you got 4.5 more days on the inspiration. So hopefully a really good piece of art. And yeah, we can put it in this room just to keep it that much more impressive for everyone. I think someone's still missing a leg. No, I think we've dealt with all of that. Unless, oh, there might have been some more. Okay, finger. Finger, scars. Toes. No, and then we've looped around. Okay, so no one's missing a major limb. But certainly a few digits here and there. Javi's definitely going to finish his statue, so I don't have to worry about that. I guess whether it cleans on a 3 or a 4 doesn't make a difference. Well, this keeps it a priority overhaul, which might not be the right way to go. We'll do this. I think keeping the research down to a 4 makes sense. 
there should be a decent amount of cleaning that happens. Hopefully. Or people are too busy with too many other things. Certainly they're busy with the construction jobs. Argo pods. What'd you send me, Randy? Bunch of muffalo wool. All right. And deteriorate, but not that quickly. Someone will get around to it. I was not putting it in a high priority haul. Yeah, there we go. The hauling is definitely happening, so. A legendary marble sculpture. All right. Let's set up over here. Um. Okay, there we go. Nope, there. Thank you. Perfect. Can we see the art? The work portrays Madeline Garner. I'm sorry, you didn't do art for your wife? Striking compacted steel while tunneling, Madeline is screaming with happiness. Almost every shape of the image seems to be focused. This depiction refers to Madeline striking compacted steel, 13th of Juggist, 5501. Oh, just earlier this year. What do you think about the fact that you've had art made after you? But yeah, hopefully it's just going to give people lots more thoughts. That's a lot of beauty. That's a lot of beauty. Extremely impressive workshop slash dining hall slash rec room. We've got cloth. We can make some pool tables and things too. Those aren't unfinished works there. Mm hmm. Odette, how's your education coming along? Um, where do we. Don't we see like how many stacks of this came through somewhere? I don't remember. I thought there was some counter for learning amount. You're not too young for it, are you? I don't think so, because you're doing the learning. Or maybe, I don't know. Anyway, you're going to turn six, and is it six the first age where you get something? I don't remember. It's been too long since we've played a lot of RimWorld, and I don't remember the age breaks anymore. Might be six, might be seven. I have a feeling another one's at 13, and then 16 is full adulthood, I think, in RimWorld. Maybe 15. Yeah, Hope's going to build her own chair here. And then we can just move it somewhere else later when we're not breastfeeding, but maybe this will save time. Replanting here. I mean, we could put, <coughs> excuse me, we could put the art in here. I mean, it's literally one of Javi's artworks and it would make this bedroom insanely impressive, but I think it's better if it benefits everyone. Man, this is a very different vibe from the previous episode where everything was feeling pretty crummy. Yeah, it marks these the second they pop up, which might be unnecessary. I think I'm going to turn off the auto cut here because I think it's just using up time cutting down these plants that isn't strictly necessary because it's not interfering with our nutrition, really. And this will be the first place we go when we need wood to do like harvest fully mature trees. Or if we notice there's not enough nutrition, we might hit the button to force a cut, but otherwise I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, more blocks are a go. This has been set up, which is great. So what we're going to do now is we'll put a tile of concrete under the door, then we're going to go sterile tiles for inside. And actually, apparently we have enough silver for all of it. Oh yeah, we do. So this is going to get flagged as a medical bed. Oh, we do have sleep accelerator tech. All right, that's good to know. And we're going to want some shelves in here too. I'm going to want three single shelves. Now this one is going to be critical for Glitter World Medicine. This one is going to be critical for regular medicine. And I'm going to go ahead and make this one critical for herbal medicine. Now, herbal, herbal medicine will decay if it's not refrigerated. Unless I don't put it on a shelf at all. Because we might not want three stacks of it. But it does have a long shelf life. So I think it's going to be okay. And the important thing is that it's near the hospital bed. So that our doctors really don't have to walk as far. Also, it's going to be very easier for us to immediately count how much we've got like sitting around. I mean, obviously... We can find it in here too, but okay, work on that flooring. Um, right, I can't actually do the medical beds right now. Maybe I'll go ahead and unforbid a couple more here. There we go. That many. Uh, we can harvest that to sell it. 
Haven't gotten a trader in a while, right? I don't think so. So I don't have enough silver to make our advanced research room yet, but that's fine. I think I will tuck it in back here. Do I just want to maybe square things off? That seems like a decent idea. Flag all those as medical. Good. I guess I could go and put a end table here for now. That's where the vitals monitor is going to go. It will increase comfort. I don't know. I don't think the comfort's going to be too much of a problem. These are very high quality beds. Yeah. I know, that's okay. And the pawns are going to be spending a lot of time in there. So their internal comfort should max out. Oh, there we go. That's perfect. Little chair right there. Oh, I like that. Um, I guess I can smooth this wall from beauty. We'll be doing the same thing here in a moment. Beauty and to let some power through this area, actually. Unfinished things. This, this, this. Solar flare killing our power is not the end of the world. We might get some rot, depending on the timers of some of these things. Like it's still frozen in here for now, but there you go. Now it's not frozen, it's just refrigerated. And as the temp rises, we'll see. Outdoor six. It's actually, we'll get a complaint about having slept in the cold on this particular occasion. Oh, okay, the cremator got built. So... Yeah, we're gonna cremate all all corpses. That's fine. And I might do... Burn all tainted. And... I'm gonna burn everything... That is tattered. It can be sold, but not usually for a lot of money. Maybe, maybe not the last work in legendary. If we happen to have master work in legendary, we'll see if we can sell them for a few more than a few bucks. It really depends on the value. I could probably put in a rule if it's like under 25%, like just sell it because it's going to be worth pennies. No matter what the quality is. Yeah. We could do that for some of the weapons as well. Um, in this case, we'd be looking for non-smeltable stuff. And I might want to put a... Let's burn all weapons. Well, first, you could burn all bio-coated weapons. Because we can't wear that stuff anyway. I guess with the apparel, it's the same thing. Um, there you go. And then after that, we'll do... Anything... I mean, the hit point, yeah, again, loses value. Let's say anything below 50 hit points is not going to be worth selling. And maybe I'll do the same thing. I can't say for non-smeltable, though, right? No, that's actually quite annoying. This is the bio-coded? Let me stop this anyway. And some of this even might be smeltable. But there's more of a chance that weapons are smeltable, and we might want to do that and get the metal. Yeah, I don't know. Stupid solar flare. There we go. Good fix. We didn't get any rot. Things are going to freeze again. That's good. Farming worksite. I don't think we need to do that. We've got lots of food. That's certainly not a problem. We might want a bigger dining table. A manhunter pack of rats, which is probably going to be a large number. Okay, we'll just get in position. They're almost certainly going to come through here. Oh, um, you're carrying Allison. Hope, oh, yeah, just put Allison somewhere safe, please. Thank you. Oh, you are very hungry. And tired. Well, you know what? I'm going to make you come here anyway. Quick, 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 quick. Oh my god. Could try to pull back with some of these, but actually, arguably with the better shooters, 
maybe with the shotguns we can do this because they have a good chance of like one-shotting these rats along the way if they're not engaged in melee. Maybe I should have set them on fire. This is really bad. And before death by rats? We're probably getting more friendly fire than anything else. Oh, pull back. You're too important. Okay. Well, and just like that, we have some more people who need to be treated. Seven hours, eight hours, nine hours. Okay, that is long enough that they can just be rescued if they all get rescued. Hope, could you maybe rescue Madeline, please? Thank you. Finish off on you. One for a bit. Now we got visitors. Now it's not the time. Okay, treatments are happening. Hospital beds exist. Please, no one bleed to death. I think we'll see a mer medical emergency first if they're about to. Okay, so some bleeding. Fawn seems to have the most bleeding. Seven hours. You, you are starting to be treated, though, so it's okay. I think we're out of herbal medicine, which I don't love. I don't know if we're growing it. Um, I disallowed the sewing there. I think the plan was to switch you to something else. I'm going to switch you to heal root. I think that was that had been the plan, actually. What I'm going to do for now is I'm going to select all the heal root on the map. Harvest fully grown. I'll probably cancel the order again before it's finished, but we're going to start getting some wild heal root. I mean, these injuries shouldn't be too severe. Medical emergency on the fawns. Blood loss extreme, but yeah, you are still getting treated. Yeah, it went to eight hours and back down seven, but no, you are you're being actively treated. Yeah, the bleed rate's going down. Well, that wasn't ideal. Maybe I should get more hospital beds. Infection is it the fawns? It is the fawns. Her legs infected again. Probably oh. Well, uh, the best quality medicine again, which, depending on the order of things, might get tended without medicine first, which might not be the worst thing. Ooh, another infection. Javi. And an infection for the fawns with a second infection. Okay. I'm also going to plan some, to unlock more hospital beds here, as it turns out. Um, fawns is still bleeding. Random transport pod crash. Paralytic abasia. Will only contribute once you recover, will not leave voluntarily. Forty-one years old, stab scar. Chemical interest delicate. <gasps> you are a good doctor and you're smart. Maybe we just keep you out of battle since you're delicate. Smogger, you're fine, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> recover naturally. Willing to contribute once she's recovered. We just accept you? Oh, there you go. Now you're friendly. Okay, I'm gonna rescue you. Put you in a bed. I mean, you're gonna be in there for a while eating our food, but we know we've actually got tons of food. That's not an issue. At this point, do we turn off the self-tend for people? I don't know. We will have to try to convert you. I'm hoping that even with Paralytic Abasia, we can do that. You're bad at cooking, but you got some passion for it. Should we probably just treat you as a researcher? I don't know. Maybe you could grind up these skills, too. You were very bad at it. 
we'll figure it out. It's got a while. We got a while to go before you're up anyway. Bonds, how you doing, buddy? 30% 10 quality. Yeah, your immunity is already kind of coming ahead a little bit. Javi, you're not in bed. You got a 0% 10 quality. Probably a self 10 when standing up with no medicine. Oh. And maybe not enough hospital beds. Oh, yeah, you are tired. Now, we do have the preach health. If we're going to use on it anyone. It should be Javi, actually. It's your husband. Um, Javi, come over here, please. I want to minimize some walking. Hope. There we go. Reach health. Immunity gain factor plus 25%, and all the injuries. I'm gonna take care of your husband first. Man, there are so many injuries. Just a million scratches. And they do. I guess each one of them takes a full normal amount of time to treat. Oh yeah, that is still exposed. Um, Smogger, you're one of our constructors. Okay, you're feeding a meal to the fawns, which is important. Okay, relax and socially. No, you're gonna go work on this fence. Which seems to keep getting damaged. Major breakers. Remember two seconds ago when everyone was really happy? Malnourished, unhappy environment. Okay, let me re- oh, you're, you're tending to yourself. Um... Alright, I'm gonna turn off the self-tend. Is it a slow and low quality? Maddie's in a daze. Well, that's not gonna- are you still gonna eat? Okay, good. You still eat while in a daze. I seem to recall them not doing that before. And that being part of an issue we would have. Hope I'm gonna force you awake to make another medical bed quickly. Since they're all full. Thanks. Let's do that. Ooh, masterwork. Playing with Allison. Oh man. Were you just left on the floor somewhere in all this? Or maybe this is how you're playing with Allison. Oh, you're putting her on the horse! Oh, that's what's happening! Okay, that's really adorable. Bonds, how you doing, buddy? I think we need some mailers. Oh, this infection is not going well. 35% 10 quality. Mm. Okay, you've got the best medicine allowed. We're going to start dropping some Glitter World on you. So that's something. Yeah, everyone still has doctoring above their bed rest, so let's do that first. Master work, master work, okay. I mean, great for us. Yeah, Fawn's medical emergency. All right. Let's cut off the leg. Left leg. Amputate. I suppose if we already had the prosthetic, we could do the replacement in one. Hopefully you don't need it for your arm. Um, let me turn off the doctoring for Immolator here, just in case it confuses the um, better medical or whatever, which I think I'm running to guarantee that the best doctor does the job. Maybe I don't. Maybe that was interfering with the pharmacist or something. We're cutting off the Fonz's leg. No whammies. Okay, good. No disasters. Okay, you're going to be treated. That's fine. I'm not going to do the other surgery until you're better. We might have to cut off an arm, too. Maybe I should have used the immunity speech on you. But no. Hope had to take care of her husband first. Okay, we're within 10%. Okay, about 7% behind. There's a 10 coming up here. We'll see if it's a very good quality or not. Glitter World Medicine. Oh, only hit 52%. Nope, you're losing that race. Amputate right shoulder. It's okay, you're you're perfectly balanced. Left leg, right arm. So we need to make a prosthetic arm as well. Oh, we got the leg. 
And the thing is, they won't be unhappy about it because they want artificial body parts. So, hey, this is their chance. Hope you're going to go cheer up the patient. Uh-huh. Oh, can you do converts? Oh, your power's in cooldown. Rare thrombos. Now's not the time to be going and fighting these giant beasts. It is not. I think we're out of wood. So... Harvest fully grown trees. So again, we're having the problem with the weapons are just sitting around outside. Man, you're tired, but maybe still, you know, recovering from those injuries. You're having to spend a lot of time taking care of um, Allison. And while Madeline's still having a psychotic wander. I'll be recovering in bed, but you have had that recovered, so that's good. Stomp. Harvesting Devil's Strand. Oh, we're getting our Devil's Strand harvest. Okay, that's really good news. Extreme Polar Bears. Four man hunting, man hunting Polar Bears. Um, we'd kind of be okay with this. I don't know if now is the right time. I'm going to leave it in the queue. Okay, Fonz is up. You know, we're going to let you recover from a few more of your wounds before we go and start stapling some prosthetics to your body. Yeah, we need those traps rebuilt too, which would be really nice. Royal Tribute Collector. I wonder if we called in the um, polar bears right now if they'd fight them. There's just, there's a risk that they won't show up in the right place. You're harvesting? Did I put you back on... Oh, construct is first. Okay. So yeah, we clearly don't have any wood for this. Because otherwise you would be constructing. Masterwork duster. Devil strand. Excellent. Okay. You know what? Hope, I'm going to get you to... Oh no, you're wearing your cape. Well, I guess what I should do... Hold on. Remove this cape job. Add a bill. At the top... Maybe I'll just do it as a one-time job is fine. But Devil Strand, at least 10 skill, go. We want a good cape for Hope to put on to protect her. Maybe we should put the other one on Javi as the hubby. He's not actually the next most important part person, but he's important to Hope. Therefore, he's important to us. Okay. Devil Strand Duster should provide great protection. Masterwork at that? Yeah. Okay. Now, that, that is really helpful. I mean, it might not help for another pack of freaking rats of doom. Need some IEDs. The heavy SMGs are good because of the spray of bullets. It is actually good for packs like that. You're sleeping inside my base, huh? Right, we don't have any more graves, but that's okay because we do have the cremation. No, we are burninating some clothes, which is fine. Stockpiles there. Quest expiring. Extreme polar bears. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. We're still way too injured. We don't have our traps up. Uh, we also have to tell people to rearm themselves. Oh, the fawns, maybe I'll wait on you for a sec here. I mean, you're going to drop your weapons again when you go into surgery, so... Let's not worry about you. No prisoners. We don't have to worry about our food. Okay, I guess now's the time to put in a cut. Oh, that um, that threatened to go very bad again very quickly. At what point do we set up our proper defenses? Gotta be pretty soon. I mean, it doesn't help that our wealth, you know, has gone up a lot. But <laughs> mostly it's the severity of these raids. It's just brutal. Actually, I'm not going to bother with these last two beds. We should have enough now. We've got uh, beds for about half the people in our colony, which I think is a sufficient ratio. I mean, we can always, you know, people can always spend time in these other rooms as well. I guess while I'm looking at it, since we do have this room assigned to someone now, we'll set up some marble tiles and... Do you have flooring here? Yeah. 
Um, we're going to need another bedroom soon for emulator. Well, soon is a relative concept, but emulator and actually Allison at some point too. So I think what I'll do is I'll smooth out something over here. And then we'll build another bedroom block in this area. Probably another one of these four by four apartment buildings. Bonds is set as a weapon or as a hunter, but yeah, that's not going to happen, buddy. Oh, you're mostly better. Hang on. Prosthetic left leg. I guess I'll do prosthetic right shoulder. We'll cue that up. So you should, as soon as you're done relaxing socially, head back to a hospital bed. Okay, but we'll deal with that next time. Folks, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.